I want to tell you the story of a poor Scottish farmer who was working in the fields one day when he saw a little boy who was drowning and he was just about to be drowned in the mud. He ran to this little boy, jeopardized his life to get this boy out of the mud. He saved the boy's life. Now, while he was still in his farm, the next day, a nobleman walked up to him with a little boy by his side who happened to be the little boy that was saved by the farmer. And the poor farmer was Mr. Fleming. And this nobleman said, uh, thank you uh, for saving my son yesterday. I came to pay you back. And Mr. Fleming said, oh, I'm grateful for that, but I didn't do it so I can be paid back. You don't have to pay me. And the nobleman said, no, 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 no. I appreciate that, but I just have to do something. I want to give back. So the nobleman offered to send the poor farmer's son to school and then he sent a Mr. Fleming's son to St. Mary's Hospital School where this boy went and eventually became a medical practitioner who eventually discovered the penicillin. Now you know who I'm talking about. I'm talking about Alexander Fleming. Alexander Fleming was the poor farmer's son that became a medical practitioner who discovered the penicillin. Well, so many years down the line, this noble man's son became a politician himself. And guess who this politician was? Sir Winston Churchill who was the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom from 1940 to 1945. He came down with pneumonia as at that time there was no cure. The only solution that eventually saved his life was the penicillin discovered by the very man whom his father sent to medical school. Now you, you now be careful how you treat people in their downtime because you never know you might be sponsoring the person who is going to save your life tomorrow. Be careful how you deal with people when they are in trouble because you might just be saving the life of the one who has the destiny of your child in his hands. You have to be careful how you have handled people in their downtime because what goes around comes around. I'll speak the Bible language. Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he reap. For God cannot be marked. Hallelujah. What you want others to do unto you is exactly what you do unto others. And guess what? Whatever you put on ground is a seed. And when it's coming back, it's coming back in harvest form. So make sure that you always put down the right seeds. Everything we do is a seed.